can you get that? Yeah. Get the lens, nothing on it. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Turn it off. Three, two, one. Two, one. That one didn't fall on the lens. Give it back. Two, one. That one landed right on it. All right, guys. Uh, as you just saw in the uh, second test, we did a nine to nine and a half foot drop test right on the glass. They ended up landing like right around the crenulated bezel area, right? We uh, threw them down front end first. And you can already see on this second test, the failure point was on the glass, right? So the Surefire Scout light did not pass that test so far. And we actually dropped this one three times because we're trying to get this one to the perfect landing point. Um, this one was dropped three times, not one chip or crack, right? I don't see anything on there. Maybe a scuff mark. The crenulated bezel ended up taking more abuse than anything else, but it's more anodizing than deformation. Here, we already have deformation on one of the, the little raised areas on the on the bezel. So, do they both turn on? Let's see. Scout lights on. A light stays on. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Let me see the lens. All right. Now let's let's get a direct drop on the owl. Go. <laughs> that sounded fucking girthy. Sure, fire's still going. Get a scan on that, okay? You see the sides? Just gonna turn it on, over and over. It's a little loose, so the thumb wheel mount is coming loose, but at the same time, we didn't tighten the, the cloud either, so. All right, let's take them off the rails. And I think the lens broke. Turn it off. The body dented right here. Turn it off. There's some glass there. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the housing, the crenulated bezel finally caved. And again, this is what we saw originally right the glass itself didn't break it's the structural integrity of the crenulated bezel that once it starts pinching it starts applying unduly pressure on the sides of the quartz glass mind you the body's crushed right here so the batteries that are in there are probably gonna have to stay in there so let's try the cloud now My finger hasn't been cut at all because the glass is still intact. All right, all right. Let's give it. Let's give it a, a strike on the actual on the, on the bezel with the rock. Let's check here. Nothing's dented. We're just seeing the rock dust. Structural integrity still intact except for some nicks. All right. So I'm going to drop it right on the lens. Right on the lens. All right. Ready.
I think we're well. I think okay, we saw finally a pinch point right here. All right. Switch is still working, not malfunctioning. So there seems to be two lenses in here. The main lens is gone. There's only bits left of it, right? Flashlight still works. The body is crushed. The mount has been bent. So if you look at it here, that won't go back on a Picatinny rail. Yep. Saving the switch. Great. Direct strike on the bezel. You can hear the mechanism in there. This bitch is dead. D E A D. Direct strike to the bezel. No light. Batteries inside, as you can see, a refreshed pair that we're throwing in. Everything tight, everything tight, dead. Did compromise the body on the back, but by pinching it, the CR123s were not compromising, they were still working, right? But the direct hit right here on the bezel. Not the protected area right here, but the non-protected area flared in part here towards the back, killed it. And that was after the glass, or what it looks like the primary glass had already busted. So this thing was still going even though the primary glass had busted and it had taken repeated dead-on direct hits from either a 9.5 to 9 foot drop directly onto the crenulated bezel. When we dropped cinder blocks on it, when we rode, uh, rode over it with the, uh, with the truck. So that thing is dead. All the while, the owl's been waiting its turn to die. So let's see. We're gonna count it off. There's already strikes on it, remember, from when it was uh, hit with the uh, cinder block and we rode over it with the, uh, with the tundra. All right, I'm gonna try and do the same thing. I'm gonna try to hit it right here. Count it off. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, fifteen direct strikes with a four, uh, four pound sledge on the concrete. You guys saw it, and it was on a high point right here. So there was equal, uh, equal amounts of pressure on the underside of the owl, as well as when it was repeatedly hit with the four pound sledge. Even after the glass finally broke 
and the bezel that held it in place, the threaded bezel that uh, held it in place, the thing stayed on for what, at least two more strikes? Right. Is, is the bulb still in there? Yes, it's uh, it's not actually a bulb. It's a, it's an uh, integrated circuit chip. So is the... It's still in there, yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> it's actually still alive. Never fucking mind. It's still... <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy shit! I guess when it was being bumped on the fucking uh, road... It hit the switch. It hit the fucking... Holy shit! Let's keep beating it. <laughs> fucking hell. All right. Ready? Go. Count it off. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Looks like a fucking panini, but... <laughs> All right, you think we can get to 100? <laughs> Let's get to 100. Hold on, pick it up, pick it up. Let me just do a, a walk around of it real quick. So if anything, it looks like a stylish set of uh, European headlights now. Look at this shit. 50 fucking smacks. You know what? For the next 50, I'm gonna hit it this way, see if I can open it up. <laughs> Holy shit. Try the body too. Yeah. So what, the next 50 back here? Yeah, I got at the, at, the, at the tension point right there. So right here, yeah. on, the, on the disconnector. Right. Holy fuck. All right. You guys ready? Let's count them off. Go. One, two, three, let me see. Still going? Up, uh, up. Uh. Hold on. I think we finally killed it. 53 swings. It's wanting to turn on. I don't know if it's a switch malfunction or if it's the. Uh, it's still turning on. But you gotta hold it down, I think. Let me see. It could be a switch malfunction, I'm not sure. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna call this one, even though it's still functioning. Obviously, the structural integrity of it is fucked. It's kind of malfunctioning even af after uh, I've hit it and I've, I've tried to press the pressure pad here. It's not staying constant on. It's just kind of momentary, and this wouldn't be usable light anyway. So I'm gonna say, what, 53, 54 hits direct with a four pound fucking sledgehammer. And yes, I guess anything can die. I, I've been very surprised at the amount of abuse that the scout light took, right? There's some things obviously that aren't as much of a concern to me because I the, one of the first things I change is this Picatinny mount from uh, from stock form, right? Um, and uh, now having owned several different cloud uh, defense owls, uh, I was extremely impressed for a new contender to come into the ring and, and really do what it did. Uh, at the end of the day, what we're seeing here is Two lights that uh, stand behind their claims, right? That they that they can take a beating for uh, a realistic uh, tour of duty. Different types of scenarios that they're placed in, where these things are going to get knocked around constantly, um, you know, or the the civilian who's just going to have a home defense carbine. Um, I think there is a point where where we go ridiculous on these, but it was just to see where the failure points were. The cloud defense uh, again. I think it's just that much stronger. Not saying that this one's bad. I'm saying this one picks up where this one leaves off. So uh, very, very perfectly designed set it and forget it. What you see is what you get product. You mount this thing 
on a Picatinny rail and it's gonna be there. It's gonna be a faithful companion lighting the way every step of the way. Change the batteries, stay on top of cleaning the glass if carbon builds up on it and this thing will perform time after time. Um, proof is in the pudding, right? We're looking at it right now.